Traditional torch patina technique. In this video, we're going to show how to do a very interesting patina finish with torch. Now first, we're going to start with copper, and we need to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to use 180 grit sandpaper on this random orbital, and we're going to sand it up real good, and I know some of you are already screaming into the monitor here saying that we are putting a bunch of swirls and scratches into copper, and yes, that's true. We are going to work with that though. We're going to actually kind of diffuse it, and I'll show you how. So I'm going to finish sanding this up, and then we're going to use the Sculpt Nouveau Metal Cleaner. And the, there's a trick to it though. So first, we're gonna clean it like we normally do, scotch Bright pad, and scrub the metal cleaner around. And then I'm gonna come back with a second coat. And what I do is I normally just spray it on there and let it sit for a minute or two. And that helps really diffuse some of these swirls. Now, it's not a tried and true always technique that will help you. Uh, sometimes you will still see some of the swirls around. And if I really want a perfect one, sometimes I'll try this technique with 400 grit after I do the 180. But basically I do 180 just to knock through basically whatever's on there. Sometimes copper comes with a, a cheap coating on there that I want to get through real fast. Sometimes it's just really grimy. So there's a couple different tricks you can do, but we've got a metal cleaning video specifically that can go more into detail on that. So if you've watched our introducing the torch patina video, then you've probably heard us talk about how the torch patina actually reacts really slow on copper. On the copper plate and steel, it actually goes really fast, and so it's kind of an interesting little workaround, but with copper, it goes very slow. In fact, I'm going to actually do two coats, and the reason why is I let this go first coat go for uh, about two, three minutes, and then I rinse it off, and then I will do another coat. And you'll see that happen a lot with brown and black patinas. You can kind of get away with faster coats, and, and it kicks off a little bit faster, and torch is still not even that fast. It does take a minute, and you can wait for the most part as long as it's not drying. But in this technique, we're actually going to implement using a heat gun. So you can see it's going nice and slow on here. So we'll rinse it and then we'll dry it. And then while we kind of put a bunch of more torch on it, and then I kind of heat it around and move it around a little bit with the heat gun to draw out some of these interesting techniques or interesting little uh, modeled sections. So here we go with the heat gun, and I know torch is labeled as a cold process. This is just one technique, one way to do things. So you can see I'm kind of moving around, trying to get a little bit of heat action. Basically, if we remember our chemistry, heat applied to a chemical reaction happens faster. So it's an oversimplification of the idea, but basically I'm just heating up random areas, trying to get the patina to dry out in specific areas. Now. What we need to do, once that starts happening, you can see it happened in one corner and I wanted a little bit more, so I kept going in other areas and basically as soon as I get a few little areas starting to dry out like that, I take it over and rinse it off and neutralize what remaining acid we have because we don't want it to go too far. And I think this design worked out really well. So here we're gonna go in with a hydro clear. Now a lot of the times you'll see us recommend going with color lock. Um, I've also recommended going with Everclear Super Gloss before. Uh, color lock, I feel, locks in the color the absolute best, but I'm on a Hydro Clear kick right now. I'm really enjoying this product, so I wanted to see how well it locked in those colors. And on this torch patina, I think it, it locked it in absolutely beautiful. So basically, the higher the sheen, the better I feel these kind of iridescent or rainbowish colors, if you will, actually look in the long run. So we're going to use this Hydro Clear and get it glossed up and then we'll take a look at it. Now, I don't want to go into HydroClear too in depth here. We're going to have a separate video introducing that, but basically it's a two-part water-based uh, system. So it's kind of like our Everclear, but water-based, and it is really strong. It's really nice, so it's great for those. Got to do it inside with no solvent smells. Um, it's got a great auto leveler, so it's a lot of fun. And take a look at that other HydroClear specific video if you want to learn a little bit more. But basically, we're going to get a couple good thick coats on here. And it's almost going to be white by the time we're done with it. And we're just slowly building up those coats on a vertical surface. And then I'll lay it down to dry so it can level out. But it ends up looking remarkable. And here is the final piece after our second coat of the HydroClear gloss. 
Traditional torch patina and hydroclear are available at www.sculptnouveau.com or by calling us at 760-432-8242.